Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Jupiter Linked. Hi US, keren sarung ujaisan kar, syapang kajinya day parlok ke India berka Roshi. Hi United States, u Minister of External Affairs jongka ri Indi. US Jason Kar, ulah keren sarong syapang kajinya day parlok jongka India berka Roshi. U Jason Kar, ulah ong bak kajinya day parlok jongka India berka Roshi. Kalong ke bakar pang, bat lapen syong nong rimah kajinya rap mar keliang. Ulah benerap syusu, om day tak ke India. Kebas ngau parlok ya ke Roshi, hendai ke Roshi ruk ke perkhat bahaya ke New Delhi. Om day tang ke US, hendai ke Roshi ruk ke Arab ya ke India, laung US jajan ka. Since the 50s, actually, there's been a very, you know, systematic mutual cultivation. Now, it's not just us thinking about Soviet Union, now Russia. It's also the Russians thinking about India with the same principle and the same logic in mind. Now, that actually is such a powerful logic, at least in our part of the world, that if you consider international relations over the last 70 years, you know, the U.S.-Russian relations, the China-Russia relations, uh, the U.S.-China relations, Europe, pretty much every big relationship in the last 70 years has seen a great deal of volatility. Mm. You had sharp ups and downs. The India-Russia is very exceptional. It's been very steady. It may not, it may not be spectacular, you know. So it may it may have stabilized at a certain a certain level, but it has not seen that kind of ups and downs which uh, your relations with Russia or China's relations with Russia or Europe's relationship with Russia has seen through. And that's in itself a statement. Mm. Now, if one looks at uh, the world today, uh, Russia today. I think as a, as a consequence of what is going on in Ukraine, uh, it, is, it seems to me clear, and I assume it seems to them clear, uh, that uh, in many ways Russia's relationship with the West has broken down. Uh, and in that case, uh, it's uh, logical that Russia focuses more on the Asian side of Russia. Mm. Though historically, Russia has always seen itself as a European uh, path. So you are actually seeing uh, a reinvention of Russia by as a consequence of what is happening uh, in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, uh, you can see you know, much of that will naturally focus on China because that's the first and the largest country and economy that Russia encounters when it turns, when it wheels around and looks at Asia. Uh, but then again, uh, India will, will and has come into calculations as well. So I would predict actually... Um, a Russia which would consciously uh, focus uh, uh, on the non-Western world, mm. away from Europe, away from uh, the United States, uh, look much more at Asia, look possibly at other regions as well, but Asia is economically the most uh, active. Yep. Uh, so.